G'day everyone, Daniel LaGrady here and welcome to another Wasabi Cars video. Thank you very much for joining me. I do hope you're all well and I have found another Mazda Road Pacer. Pretty much my mission here in Japan is to find Australian cars or cars of Australian origin and uh, this is one of three main cars that I'm looking for, the Mazda Road Pacer. I don't know what year this one is, I don't know what grill it has, whether it has the HJ grill or the HX grill. Um, the colour which is blue which was available on both of the um, the Zenki and the Corky, the early and the late. Um, so yeah, if it was brown then I would know that it would be the HX, the later one. But anyway, let's have a look at this car. There's a few things I'm able to determine, uh, mainly from the interior. It's got the light interior and you'll notice that it has the, the uh, single seats. So um, that was one of the options. They had either a bench front or the individual seats on the front. Um, what else can I see? I do see it has dual aircon. See it on the parcel shelf there at the back? It's a bit hard to determine. That's something I never really noticed before. Now I was talking to someone just yesterday about um, the cooler. So yeah, in the back of the car I believe on the left hand side there's like a little mini fridge for keeping drinks and whatnot cool. Yeah, um, what else can we see? Rust of course. Uh, the hood is popped so I would love to be able to check out the rotary engine under there. Um, there's a rotary engine from another one. It still has a road pacer badge on the front quarter on the other side as well. Steel rims, but yeah that rust is certainly bad in places. You can see the uh, electric window uh, button on the rear passenger door. But I think on one side, yeah the, it's, it's gone. So that's a bit of a shame. Well, no one's driving this car ever again, but um, yeah, and you can see that badge again on the front. The RP badge on the uh, on the C pillar. Almost RIP badge. Yeah, very, very cool. So this is the first blue one I've seen. I of course have seen uh, a black one, a, a white one. There's a green one at the Mitsubishi, uh, sorry, at the Mazda museum which I've never seen and of course there's the brown color which uh, I have never seen ever in my life I've never seen any HX so this could be a HX that would be super exciting uh, yeah the last remaining badge at the back is the RE130 AP anti-pollution uh, there should be a badge there but that's been lifted hmm no good at all well there's a bunch of interesting cars here there's also um, this 240 or 260 Looking nice, red with the gold uh, steels, uh, the, the gold alloys over fenders. Very interesting. I'd like to know more about that. Yeah, so it's time for me to go. I'm going to have to um, come back here again in the future because I really want to see more of that car. And uh, hopefully I will do just that, okay? So uh, no question of the day because I'm terrible at thinking on my feet and I'm currently standing. Mm. So uh, take it easy everyone, goodbye.